tempo control, swing them out, metronome, now time, global arm, mute and solo, transport controls, selection or automation tool, snap to control, loop controls, master volume, and also CPU usage. On the left hand side is the track inspector. From here, if it's an audio track, I can choose my audio inputs. I can also add a device chain preset if I want as well. So as you can see on a synth track, you have your MIDI input controls, what port, whether or not I want to set the splitter or layer, transpose controls, and also different channels that I want to send this particular track to for multi-temporal usage. Below that I have my input quantize, new to 2.5, I can turn it on or off. And I also have my MIDI effects where I can add my arpeggiators, soft synths, and also any effects that I have. Down below that is the audio output, which is then routed to the master. Each auxiliary send can be turned on and off here, and also its send level control. I have my actual tracks. Uh, if I want to insert a track, it's very easy to do. I can just go ahead and say add a MIDI track. And if it's an audio track, I can say add audio track, arm it for recording, set my input, and I'm ready to go. On the right is what's called the track view. This is where you have your different clips that you can edit, both audio and MIDI. And in between the two is what's called the groove matrix. The groove matrix is uh, very cool as I can perform MIDI and audio performances, and I can trigger them up top or I can trigger each one individually. I can also choose how it's triggered as well, immediately on the beat or whatever I'd like to do. This is where I can actually see my aux buses. I'm new to 2.5, I can actually insert a new aux bus. I've added five and I've added six. And then from there, I can choose any audio effects I wanna to add to it. And then which output it goes out as well. If you have multi-IO sound card, this is where you would have multiple masters. Below that is the tempo view as well. And also brand new to 2.5. The ability to individually resize each track. I can actually turn on automation. Select my automation tool. Now I can do volume fades. The editor is a piano roll type interface. I can create new patterns, which I drag and drop either into the track view or into the groove matrix. I can record from here as well. I can also add notes, so I'll do right here. I can also edit its velocity, or I can actually choose other automation as well. I also have a step sequencer. the browse what is included with the program. I can see what I'm using in my project. This is good for file management. And I can also explore. Pick the one that I want and drop it in.